is back. Hit it. Ha. Sam Hit it. and ha. Oh Hit God. It. Attention successful people, entrepreneur Nate Brown has a special offer just for you. His book, The Laws of Success, will get you back on the path to achieving your dream. I've left the link at the top line of the description box right now. I need everybody under the sound of my voice to go show my man some love. He has my personal. If she was on her other foot, I don't think it would pan out like that. Definitely got jail felony here on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Man, you got a illustrious career, you know, in the industry, and you had a couple of little squabbles, a couple of little beefs in the industry. Talk to us about um, the Jay Z situation, um, what happened, and break that whole thing down to us. Oh man, um, I don't know. It, it was crazy, man. But I just look at it like uh, people were starting to get off into. You know, like I heard a skit first from his album, and he was like, "Is a nigga blood? Is a nigga grip? Niggas want to know this and that." And I'm like, "I don't know. I, I was really with the shit." You know what I mean? So I'm like, "Cause ain't no gangbanger. Why are you even mentioning that?" You know what I mean? That's uh -huh. where I, I really start asking questions, and then um, I was with my niggas Jimmy Hinchman and them. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was shit. I was in New York, and I was like, "Fuck it." I made the record trued up, right? Mm -hmm. And and I went to uh. To the Marcy Projects and, and, fucking, uh, and, made, and made a uh, commercial for BET for the shit. And, um, and that's when I came with the song. You know what I mean? Is he a blood or is he a crip? Nigga, I saw big ass clips. I'm like, cuz ain't with the shits. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm out here risking my life for this gangbanging shit. But, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But we ended up squashing our shit. You know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga, uh, Big Chuck. Used to work for Aftermath. Um, he ended up having Jay Z call me uh, or call Long Beach. I was I was a uh, 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 in relationship with one of Trey D nieces and shit, and, and we was out in Long Beach, and this nigga called the house, and mm. and um, and she was like, "Nigga Jay Z on the phone." I'm like he was it. She's like, "No, nah, nigga, take the phone, Jay Z or whatever." So we ended up. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, man, come to." Uh, to Beyonce's um, after party uh, for Sunset. So I went to the after party, we chopped it up, you know what I'm saying? We ended up squashing the bullshit, man, oh, shit. I ended up getting drunk with a <laughs> motherfucking uh, Beyonce bottle, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I was cool after that, like, fuck it. It, it, it was really, okay. wouldn't, it really wasn't about shit, you know what I'm saying? Just like, nigga, I don't know. It was like, cause you just, you just a rapper, nigga, it's real crip over here though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But well, we squashed that bullshit. Big Chuck, Big Chuck, fuck around and um and, and hooked it up to where we squashed it as men, and, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? Was he, was he talking about you when he's saying, "Is it blood or crip"? Do you think he was um, referring to you? Nah, he was talking about himself. That's you know what, what I'm saying? Yeah, he was talking about himself. But I was like, niggas is not wondering if if you know blood or crip. We know you're not a blood or crip. Gotcha. We have faith. You know what I'm saying? We know you. Just, Man, yeah. That's like Method Man or Red Man telling them they blood or grip. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, because you niggas MCs, nigga. Y'all niggas ain't no gangbanger. <coughs> you know it, it got popular, though, as of late, that rappers, I don't want to say as of late, throughout time in hip hop, I'll say that you it know, went from. Go ahead, do you think? No, it's like a slap in the face. Like you said, it, it did get popular. It's like a slap in the face to niggas that's been doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like they was banning certain shit back in the day. Like, like I made a song when I made the video for Trued Up. They banned that motherfucker. Like, hold up, nigga, this is too much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is too real. Like, you see me in the video. Like, it's not even out on YouTube or nothing. But in the video, you see me get up in the morning, put my clothes on, my khakis, my my chucks with the blue laces and shit. You know what I mean? Put my crip attire on, nigga. Finna go to war. They just like hold up, this, this, this too <laughs> real for this. Like you know what I mean? And it looked like a film. It looked like a movie with no bullshit video. J J Jesse Smith in New York, my nigga. J Jesse Smith shot it, man. Shout out to J Smith, man. Um, them niggas banned my shit. So I hope y'all see this shit on the new documentary I'm doing. It's called the Evolution of Gang Culture, and it's talking about how. When niggas was really gang banging in music, and then it went to with niggas with rainbow hair and shit, you know what I'm saying? Talking about they buzz and shit. 
It went all the way from from the real shit to that. And motherfuckers was accepting that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. When you know, I was we, looking at that, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, and this nigga was dissing reptable street niggas all across the country. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Man, this is crazy. But it shows he, you the state of hip hop. Yeah, and unfortunately, he ain't the only one. And I mean, there might be a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? And what's going on in there? How how fake is the industry? We we've seen it kind of grow throughout time, and we've had conversations. We had Phase on on talking about someone fake crips and fake drug dealers and getting a lot of attention for that. But he bring we brought up some real good points um, on the industry in itself. So how fake is the industry? Hip hop. Oh man. Um... Shit, man, this shit is fake as a motherfucker, man. Mm-hmm. It, it's 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 pathetic, you know what I mean? To where it's like, goddamn, it's like nigga, all the real niggas, like, goddamn, it's the industry so fake. The real niggas don't even want to speak up, nigga, because they think the police gonna be on their bumper, cause yeah. that's how fake this shit is. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't even want to speak on what's going on. Cause they feel like the feds gonna be on their motherfucking bumper. That's how mm-hmm. fake this shit is, cuz. You know what I mean? And a lot of niggas signing deals with the police, nigga, and they ain't saying shit about what's going on right That's now. A f- yeah. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. What was um Snoop Dogg? Nigga, what was- police run hip hop, cuz. So you think there's such, such thing as the hip hop police for real? What do you mean it's such a thing as the hip hop police? Nigga, the police run this shit. Look, look at what about you look at what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't on no another motherfucking rock. You know both of y'all know what's going on, cuz. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. We just be getting confirmation. Come on, my nigga. The we police not run this shit. Look, right. the, look, look at look at how when six nine snitched on all them niggas and he when he got out of jail, nigga, he still had Instagram. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instagram, his, his shit wouldn't shut down. They didn't say, hey, man, he did all this dirt. Let's shut all his platforms down. That motherfucker had the biggest platform when he got out. After and doing he, all the telling. He wasn't supposed to be antagonizing situations either, and that's all he do. Yeah, man. So, I, I don't know, man. I'm just looking at it like, you know, you, you see two motherfucking niggas. Both of them got the police with them, and they're yelling at each other like they want to do something to each other. <laughs> and they both got the police with them. I don't know, man. I just, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just stay independent, do my shit, man. I don't know, man. This shit is off out there. Niggas is the cops, girl. 